We are going to continue with our exposition on the book of Hosea. Today we are going to expound chapter 10 from verse 6 which says it shall be also it shall be also carried unto Assyria for a present to King Jareb. Ephraim shall receive shame and Israel shall be ashamed of his own concern. Sasa. Kiswahili? Nayo itachukuliwa Ashuru iwe sawadi kwa mfalme ya Rebu Ephraim atapata aibu na Israeli atalionea haya shauri lake mwenyewe. Here as you all know or as we had been exercising this chapter or the book of Hosea here we are dealing with the 10 tribes. Hosea is writing at the church of Israel that was the 10 tribe which were under Jeroboam. Samaria was their capital city. It was their capital city and that's where they had kept these calves, these golden calves. And we saw that these people, they had gone so low that they had devised another way of worship different from what God has taught them. So if I start from verse 5, I read from verse 5, it says, the inhabitant of Samaria shall fear because of the calves of Bethlehem. For the people thereof shall mourn over it. And the priest thereof that rejoices of it for the glory thereof because it is departed from it. Here we saw that the inhabitant of Samaria shall fear because of these calves when they shall be taken. It was their way of worship. And remember, Assyrians are going to come and they are going to take to destroy their temple, this temple which they had, they had built at Samaria. And they are going to take these calves. Remember these cal calves were created or they were made by gold. So even King Jared in Assyria wanted them very much. So here we saw, you remember, that even the priests thereof, and by while what you call the priest, and we saw the priest they were worried. Because Babu, these calves, ndi walikuwa wanakulia. Ndi walikuwa nandakanya watu nao. Na ndi walikuwa wameweka watu walikuwa na abudu hizo ata wanaleta their tithes. Pesa. Wakija kwa abudu these calves. Na tukaona kabisa kabisa ilichukuli yani they, were, they mourned. But when you come to verse 6, uh, it, shall, it shall be also carried unto Assyria for a present to King Jared. Those soldiers ambayo watakuja waingie Samaria, manaka itakuja ibomolewe na ishe. The only thing ambayo watamake sure wameichukua is these calves. Wapereke nani? King Jared. So we are going to see these things eh uh, why watalia kwa sababu gani? Alafu hapo ndo tunaambia Ephraim shall receive shame. Tutaona ni kwa nini wata receive shame? 
Why would they be ashamed? You see, why would they be ashamed? It is because tutaona ni kwa sababu ile kuabudu walikuwa wanafikiria ndio the way of going to heaven wakati wataona yaani imebomolewa na walikuwa wanafikiri kabisa they have gotten a way of going to heaven they will be ashamed and that's what is going to happen in the same, yani in this church of today people shall be ashamed wakati tabomolewa watashangaa So idolaters are want to rejoice much when they, they get one one another as god. So King Jared atafurahia kwa sababu yeye wakati ataletiwa miungu alafu ambaye Mungu ambaye ni wa Israeli. Na yeye remember huyu King Jared of Assyria is a heathen. Sasa yeye atafurahi sana kwa sababu uh, ameletewa amekonga Israel mpaka ameletwa nini Mungu wao Sijui kama tunaelewana That's why yeye atafurahia ni kwa sababu eh, ameletwa huyu Mungu So here it represent how eh, katika Christian religion katika Christian religion when the gospel is trampled on foot by satan how is he going to trample on foot satan has his soldiers and when you say satan has his soldiers now we want to see it in the relationship with the gospel church wale watanyaganywa miungu yao na yatapelekewa nani? Ja, Jared. Na Jared atafurahi sana. Wale ambao watafanya hivyo, those who are going to do it, they were the soldiers of Jared. Jared here is like the devil. The devil has soldiers that he has sent unto the church of Christ. Hawa ambaye uh, Satan the devil soldier are not true Christian. They are soldiers who have gone to fight the kingdom of God and that is the kingdom of Christ. That is the kingdom of Christ. So when they go to the kingdom of Christ they are going to take to trample down God the true worship of God and Satan will take over and he will be the ruler because these people are going to be taken captive unto King Jared wataenda utumwani they will be captivated there na watakuwa chini ya King Jared na wakati utakuwa yani chini ya King Jared kusema yote ambayo watakuwa wanafanya itakuwa ni ya nani ni yale ambaye yule ambaye anata, yani vile yule anataka so when a church is taken captive by the devil through his false ministers manake kanisa uchukuliwa captive na shetani through his false ministers because the false ministers they will come they will not teach the doctrine of Christ they will come with the doctrine of prosperity and in any other promises of this world telling people how people are going to be blessed with these worldly things and many people will fall with that and then they will be taken captive by satan and the church will be the antichrist People have never known how the antichrist came in. It is a church of Christ when Satan has used his own ministers to teach his own doctrine as an angel of light and yet he is teaching his own things. 
So here, you'll see that the verse goes on to say, Ephraim shall, be, shall receive shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his counsel. You see now, people, many people, ambaye wanafikiria wanamjua Mungu watakuja kushangaa sana wakati watakuja kujua kweli kabisa yale walikuwa naita ni kanisa ama miungu ambayo walikuwa naabudu it is not the true one that's why tutaona why they will be ashamed you see now if them shall be receive shame and Israel shall be ashamed. That is, their hope shall fail them. And they shall see their counsel come to nothing. And this shall cause them shame and confusion of faces. You can imagine, wale walikuwa wamekaa miaka yote wakiabudu hii miungu. Jeroboam alikuwa mejenga tempo at Bethel and Dan. Na alikuwa ameweka these calves. Na kwa sababu because of the ignorant of the people walikuwa kabisa wanajua hili ni kanisa la nani? La Mungu. Zo hawaendi Jerusalem kwa budu vile nataikana wamebuni jia zao. Jeroboam alitegeneza jia yake ya kufanya watu wafurahie katika na those temple na hii furaha ni kwa sababu gani ni kwa sababu Jeremboam alikuwa ametegaza jia ya kuabudu bila kwenda Jerusalem Jerusalem ni mbali sana hakuna haja kwenda kuabudu Jerusalem so watu wakaona kabisa safari imefanya nini imefupishwa as we are going to see na hii miungu kabisa kabisa ambaye Jeremboam amewatengenezea and he was their king tuliona pale kuna verse pale katika Hosea inasema namna gani Verse 3 inasema for now they shall say we have no king because we feared not the lord what, what then should the king do to us you see now walikuwa wanaona Jeroboam wanamwabudu kama nani kama Mungu walikuwa wanaona kabisa kabisa no hakuna mtu kama nani Jeroboam Jeroboam Mwanaka Jeroboam alikuja akawa, akawaonesha njia zingine ya kuabudu na akawatoa Yerusalemu na wakajegea temple na pesa zake za serikali Unajua wewe na politician akitaka kuangusha kanisa kanisa anayangusha rais sana Yeye yako na, na njia na pesa akijenga makanisa watu wanafikiria sasa ati huyo ndio mtu wa nani wa Mungu wa Mungu So hivyo Jeroboam ndio alifanya that's why walimshika na wakamwamini kama nani kama Mungu. Sasa wakati wanasema then we shall say there is no king kwani hatuna 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 mfalme manake even yule mfalme atakuwa sasa wakati huu wakati wakati these temples zinaenda hata atafanya nini? Atachukuli? Atachukuliwa. Because when the judgment come there is no king ama watu wa kawaida Hakuna mfalme ama mtu wa kawaida. Nyinyi wote you are judged the same by God. Hata yule mlikuwa mnaona kana kwamba ni mtu wa maana sana ambaye alikuwa anawajegea yani 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 makanisa mtashaka watu watashangaa wanasema ana kumbe hata yeye hakuna. So na wao ndio wanasema sasa kuna wakati mtasema huyu huyu mfalme faida yake kwetu ni nini? Ni nini? Walifika hapo wakasema even huyu mfalme faida yetu kwetu ni ni, 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 ni nini? Ni kwa sababu ilifika pahali when God say they must go. Walifanya nini? Walienda. Paka yule mfalme wakashindwa haja yake ilikuwa nini? Na yeye ndiye alikuwa amewajegea nini? Easy temple. Hata these calves za kuabudu yeye ndiye alikuwa amewajengea. So ndio nasikia yani Ephraim shall receive shame. And Israel shall be ashamed. Nikusema kanisa itakuwa na haya ilikuja ikawa na haya sana. The, the tenth tribe shall receive shame. 
Failing in our hopes make us to be ashamed. Walikuwa ni watu wako na hope nyingi sana kama sisi vile tuko naye. Ni watu walikuwa na mashaba, ni watu walikuwa wametengeneza inchi yao. Walikuwa na mashule, walikuwa kila kitu walikuwa naye. Na their hope walikuwa wanajua kabisa wataendelea. Manake wako na kanisa wanaabudu. Lakini hawakujua ile jia Jeroboam amewapeleka akiwadanganya anawatekea temple ilikuwa ni jia potofu. It was not the true way of worship. Sasa hapo ndio sasa watakuwa ashamed. Manake watashindwa kweli. Hii miaka yote kweli tulikuwa tunasema tunaabudu Mungu. Na hii matempo tumejenga ya hali ya juu sana Jeroboam ametujengea. Kabisa kabisa yamechukuliwa sasa. We have no way of worship. Na sisi wenyewe tumeenda utumwani. They shall be they were ashamed. They had good hope. They had good hope they should prevail because of their calves. But now their calves are taken from them and now they are ashamed. Their hope ilikuwa ni nini? Ni calves. Manaka walikuwa naabudu kama mimi. Na walikuwa wanajua their protection manaka vile walikuwa wamefundishwa huu ndio Mungu wenu. Kwa hivyo walikuwa wanajua wao wako sawa sana. Walikuwa wametajirika na walikuwa wanaenda ku, yani ku, kuabudu hizo calves. Sasa ikawa sasa nao the calves ambayo walikuwa naabudu imechukuliwa. Ime sasa what yani what next they will be ashamed you know what it means wakati Mungu atakuja abomoa hizi makanisa watu wana, wanasema ni makanisa za yani kanisa za Mungu na wanasema ati hapo ndio Mungu sasa wanaenda kuabudu Mungu na wana, wanaenda vizuri sana na hata wana, yani hata hizo makanisa hata unaona mtu anaweza hata kunil down pale anakaa ni kanisa ameingia na kabisa amekaa miaka yake yote kutoka azaliwe akijua hapo ndiyo nani Mungu yu? yuko Sasa hebu niambie ikibomolewa iwe hauwezi enda utaambia watu nini Watasema nini Watu watasema nini Wale ambaye ni mapasta watasema nini Wale ambaye it, yani they will be ashamed Itakuwa ni shame Ni kwa sababu wamekaa pale miaka yote lakini sasa yani ilifika pahali those temple those calves zikachukuliwa wakaenda utumboni they were confounded because they had hoped they came they came thither and were ashamed they hoped to, to have relief but had not and therefore they were ashamed hakuna mtu ambaye anaabudu Mungu Hakuna mtu ambaye anaenda kanisa. Every person ambaye anaenda kanisa there is a hope. Kwa nini unaenda kani? kanisa? There is a hope. How you, you hope that things are going to be better. Kuliko vile si? Ziko. Huko na hope. Na tena apart from the hope at the ya mambo hapa duniani, bado una hope that hii kanisa itakupeleka wapi? Binguni because hiyo ndi watu wanaambiwa these are vehicle ni kama political party watu wanaambiwa hii political party ndio itafanya nini itakupeleka wapi itakupeleka bunge si ndi watu wanaambiwa na watu wanaingia hii na ile nyingine naye kanisa ni kana kwamba unaambiwa hii ndio the vehicle ambayo itakupeleka wapi binguni so wakati nimefika pahali hiyo kanisa imebomolewa na hakuna utafanya nini you will be ashamed ashamed you will be ashamed You see now and that's what happened to these people if we, if we had been disappointed of our hopes now in respect of our adversaries oh what what shame would have been upon the people of god kama saa hii unakuwa ashamed wakati labda kitu ulikuwa unataka kufanya inakataa kuenda vile unataka ama watu wanaona kabisa umefail What about wakati uko na hope nyingi sana umekaa kanisa miaka yote kutoka uzaliwe ukisema unaenda binguni What about ukifika ukute wewe kabisa hata wewe hakuna wakati hautaingia Manake you had been following a false worship kutoka wakati ulizaliwa 
mpaka wakati ukijua wewe unaenda mbinguni sitakuwa itakuwa nini you will be ashamed you will be ashamed it will be ashamed kwa sababu hivyo sio hivyo ulikuwa unafikiria he will be ashamed of because of what because of his own concern ebu soma na kiswahili the same verse tuone ni nini itafanya awe ashamed kuna pali hapo imeongea naliwachukia mikononi mwangu hawakujua <coughs> ya kuwa naliwaponya hapana the first 10 6 ya hosea mm-hmm. ifraim atapata aibu <laughs> na israeli atalionea haya shauli lake mwenyewe atalionea haya shauli lake mwenye mwenyewe kwa hivyo nikusema of his yani he'll be ashamed of his own counsel counsel ni kumaanisha yale yalikuwa yeye mwenyewe alifikiria na akayapanga na ikawa ndiyo shauri lake ambaye anafikiria ndiyo njia sawa that means the counsel that was between Jeroboam and his princess hapa sasa Israel hapa sasa it is that nation ambaye the counsel hapa ni Jeroboam ambaye was the king and his princess ni wale ambaye walikuwa his ministers na priests ni wale walikuwa wanaongoza wapi kani Kanisa. kanisa wote watakuwa ashamed kwa sababu gani kwa sababu the king ameenda wapi captivity hata ame hata ame, amechukuliwa the princess Princess hapa ni ministers. Hata wao wamefanya nini? Wamechukuliwa. Wale watu walikuwa na wanafanya kazi katika the temple ambayo ni mapriest. Hata wao wamefanya nini? Na hii shauri yote ya hiyo inchi nani walikuwa wanafanya? Ni ha? Hawa watatu. That is that is the that is the king, the priest, the princess and the priest. Ukiangalia kanisa saa hii wale watu ambaye wana, wanakuwa na shauri ya yale mambo yatatendeka saa hii ni nani the king wale wao katika serikali na wale wanaongoza makani makanisa, makanisa. wote watatu hao ndio wanakuanga na shauri wao ndio uanga wanajua itaenda namna gani na ndio unakuta una, una king anataka sana asikie watu wa kanisa watasema nini kwa sababu wao na watu wa kanisa lazima waende wakiwa kitu kimoja. Lakini sasa ukiangalia kwa nini Jeroboam hata wakati anataka kufundisha even Jeroboam wakati anataka kufundisha false worship. Kwa nini the priest hawakuona? Kwa nini priest kwa, si, 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 si hao ndio walikuwa wanasikia kanisa? Bona hawaku advise the priest. Kwa nini hawakuona? Kwa nini hata presents hao ambao walikuwa ndio minister in that country? Kwa nini in that time? Kwa nini hawakuona waambie Jeroboam unajua hii jia ume, yani hii hata naona watu wa kanisa wanasema hivi. Mbona hawaku hawakufanya nini? Hawakuambiana waseme hapa umekosea. Why? Let us see another verse kidogo dio. Azia Amos 7:10 inasema ndipo amazia kuhani wa bete akapeleka habari kwa Yeroboam mfalme wa Israeli akisema Amos amefanya vitina juu yako kati ya nyumba ya Israeli nchi haiwezi kustahimili maneno yake yote so you go to kidogo so you see there amazia ni nani the priest he's a priest ambaye sasa ndiyo anaongoza Amos ni nani nabii ni nabii wa Mungu that is a true christian ambaye ni yule mtu anasimama katika ukwe ukwe Amazia is a priest he is a man of god but yeye is imposter ni kumaanisha ni mtu ambaye anaendeza kanisa yani eh, false worship 
Na kwa sababu Jeroboam hajui ni, ni, ni priest muongo. Unajua a king akiwa naongoza is very hard for him to know wale wako kwa kanisa ama ni watu wa Mungu ama ni nini? Ni imposters, ni hypocrites. Ni ngumu sana kujua. Kwa hivyo ni kusema the king atalirae na hawa mapriest wa uongo katika kanisa. Na kwa sababu hawa mapriest wa uongo wanataka kufurahisha the king, watakuwa wanataka wanafanya yale the king anataka. The king is yeye sio ajui mambo ya Mungu. But this priest watafanya everything to praise him the king hata the king akifanya jambo gani mbaya namna gani watasema namna gani ako sawa atakuwa ndio unasikia sasa their counsel they'll be ashamed of their counsel ni kwa sababu the king the princess ama the priest they have a counsel so wakati watakuja kuchukuliwa mateka waambiwe nyinyi mlikuwa mnafanya mambo hivyo you are not even not the church of god they will be ashamed ni kwa sababu nobody angesaidia mwingine ukiendelea hapo chini kwa nini amazia the priest angesaidia kanisa hebu soma kwa maana amos asema hivi yorobam atakufa kwa upanga na bila shaka israeli atachukuliwa mbali hali ya kufungwa atoke katika nchi yake unasikia who is talking the truth Amos ndio anaongea ukweli. Manake Amos is a prof, is a true prophet of God. Amazia is a priest of the temple. Na this priest of the temple yeye anaabudu miungu mingine. Ni kwa sababu this temple imeletwa calves na nani? Na Jeroboam, na Jeroboam. Ambaye is a false worship. Na Amazia anaambia watu long live Jeroboam yaani wewe umetuletea umetutengenezea a temple hata umetujengea a temple kwa hivyo watu walikuwa wanafurahi sana katika Jeroboam lakini Amazia there was no one time aliambia watu hapana huyu mtu ambaye ni Jeroboam hata kana kwamba anajengea sisi this temple na pesa yake hii pesa hii hii, hii Hiji ambaye anatuambia is not the right way. Nobody alisimama hawa unaona huyu. So ndio hapo anasema Jeroboam shall, shall die ni kweli kwa sababu wakati wanaenda utumwani the king watu watakufa. Watu watauawa. Na Israel as a whole shall be led away. Wanaenda utumwani maana God is going to destroy that nation na, na Amos ndio anasema ukweli lakini hawatasikia Amos watasikia nani watasikia Amazi Amazia so hii inatufundisha nini in the present generation ukiangalia the church today the christian church imeshikana with the the worldly government imeshikana kanisa imeshikana na the worldly government vile the leader ana, yani anasema unakuta the church for fear of the leaders ambao wanaongoza ama because ya yale hawa leaders wataletea kanisa kama ni pesa kwa sababu these leaders will always come in pretense ati wanajekea Mungu nyumba wanakuja kuleta pesa katika makanisa so wale ambao wako kwa katika kanisa ambaye they, they are pastors ama reverend ama mabishop they cannot speak out the truth watakaa kama nani kama amazia hawezi kuambia hapana there is no to hii pesa hata kana kwamba unajenga kanisa the church of god you come even if you want to give us million let us not know uingie kanisa ukae kama watu wengine utoe pale kama nini o oh, offering mkono huu usifanye nini usijue huu mwingine umefanya nini that is the church of god nikumaanisha if truly you are politician and you are for the church uwezi kuja na pesa ushike na mkono ndio uonekane umetoa ngapi hiyo ni kusema huyu politician ako na hidden agenda 
He is not to glorify God. He is not there to glorify God. Though anakuja na pesa ati nikanisa na jenga hapana. Mungu anasema mimi sikai nyumba ambayo imejagwa na nini? Na mikono ya watu. Kwa hivyo usijigambe ati unajagea Mungu nyumba na ni nyumba ya nini? Ya ma? Hali ile ya roho unafanya nini? Unapomoa? Unapomoa. Kwa hivyo hawa ndivyo walikaa. Na ndio naona Amos akiambia Jeroboam vile iko Huyu Amazia anamwambia huyu mtu haongei mambo mazuri. Manake anasema utakufa na Israeli taagamia. Na the king kwa sababu hajui ukweli anakubaliana na nani? Na na na, na, na Amazia. Also Amazia said unto Amos, "O thou seer." Sasa ni Amos ana yani ni, ni huyu Amazia. "O thou seer, go free thee away into the land of Judah." And there eat bread and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at death. Sasa huyu ako na nguvu. Hapa usijaribu kufanya nini? Kukanyanga. Na hii Bethel ambaye anasema hivyo is a false worship. Iko mpaka na nini? Na the cow. So ndio hapo unasikia mtu kama anaongea hivi. So wakati hapa tunaambiwa sasa wakati wataenda utumwani na those calves zitaenda hapa ndiyo sasa tunaambiwa na Jeremiah Ephraim shall receive shame and Israel shall be ashamed Jiko maonaona walikuwa wamesimama vizuri walikuwa kabisa wako hata wanaringa the pride ambayo walikuwa naye ni kanisa la Mungu walikuwa wanashikana na, 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 na the leaders president ministers governors ndio walikuwa wanainua hiyo kanisa na walikuwa na furaha na hata walikuwa na kula yani pamoja they were making counsel together hiyo ndio watafanya wawe ashamed the same thing is what is going to happen in this present church imeshikana na, na the leaders kufanya maovu maovu ni kukubalia mambo ambayo kabisa is against the church inaletwa na politician ni kutoaambia the politicians ama those governors wale ambao wanaongoza katika inchi waambiwe you belong either to one denomination kanisa moja uende pale uabudu kama watu wengi kama watu wengine hii mambo ya kuwa ati you are special hakuna in the house of god hakuna mkubwa ama mdogo ndogo the only person ambaye amekubaliwa kuwa mkubwa katika kanisa la Mungu is a pastor ambaye amesimama mbele pale anafundisha neno la Mungu. Yeye yeah, yeah, he is the, he is second to who? To Christ. Na huyo in the church of God ni mtu mkubwa sana. But when you come to a governor ama yule mwingine huyo hata akija kwa kanisa kama yeye mwenyewe naye angejielewa kama mwana wa Mungu hangetaka atakukaa pale mbele. Angeenda wapi? Akae nyuma kama watu wengine akae nyuma kama watu wengine ni kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo inatakikana ina, ina na watu hawajai kujua ni kwa nini Daudi wakati the ark of the covenant ilikuwa imekwama ile siku ilikubali ku, yani ku, iperekwe katika Jerusalem yeye alitoa the goal of the king akai akachezea Mungu na nani? Kama watu wengi? Kama raia wa kawaida. Watu wajai kujua. Sasa ninakuja na waambia ati tutaimbia Mungu paka nguo ziadue kama za nani? Za Daudi. Lakini little do they know ile kitu Daudi alifanya alitoa the gong of the king. Akabaki na nguo za kawaida kama mtu wa kawaida. Yeye wakati watu wengine ambaye they are not the king akaanza kuruka na wao pamoja wanaibia Mungu. Mimi yeye yeah, alifanya nini? Alijishusha chini kama nani? Akakasa kuona nini? The king? The kingship. The kingship. Akaenda chini kama watu wengine kwa furaha. Yeye yeah, akakosa kuona watu wa kawaida. Akaona kabisa kabisa hao ambao ni watu wa kawaida wako kama mimi. Hao tunaweza cheza na wao. Tuibie mu? Tuibie Mungu. That's what David did. Yeye yeah, huyo kingship hata kofia yake akatoa na ndiyo naona bibi yake akiwa kwa nyumba wakati aliona amefanya hivyo akamdharau. Unaezaje kutoa yani wewe kucheza na watu wengine? Uliwezaje yani kurudi chini kama watu wengine unacheza kama watu wengine? Naye Daudi akamwambia mna gani? 
Yule ambaye alitoa baba yako, unajua bibi ya, 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 ya David alikuwa mtoto wa nani? Wa, wa, wa Saul. Akamwambia yule ambaye ameniweka kwa kiti, akatoa baba yako. Huyo ndiyo amefanya nifanye nini? Nitoe nguo. You see now, manake alitaka kumwambia mimi uzinichukue. Kwanza kuna pale alikuwa akasema, na ni kama itakuwa ni hivi, hata kesho na kesho kuta itafanya nini? I'll do it. Kwa hivyo uzikuje kuzimama hapa mbele unioneshe sijui ati wewe sasa mimi nimefanya makosa hakuna makosa nimefanya David alitaka kumuonesha bibi yake that yeye hakuna tofauti yake na watoto wa Mungu wale wengi when it comes to the kingdom of this world it is nothing because yeye aliona mba aliona mba yeye aliona the kingdom of god but that's what i'm, say, I'm saying yule ambaye naye ni, ni mtu ambaye hapa ni ni, 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 ni is a governor or a leader of this world yule kabisa anajua salvation ni nini and is a child of god akiingia nyumba ya mungu hata hesitaka ukaa pale mbele hata hangetaka ajulikane ako pale kwa sababu yeye angejishusha kama watu wengi lakini mtu ambaye anaingia kanisa anataka watu wote hata wakigia kwa kanisa asimame that's not a child of god Mtu ambaye akienda pale anataka apatiwe kiti ya pale mbele aonekane yako pale. That's a hypocrisy. Hiyo ni hypocrisy in the church. Na hao ndio hao unaona hapa yani hawa they shall be ashamed. Do you know how they were ashamed? They were ashamed. Kwa sababu hawakuamini kweli hii mambo inaweza kuwa yani yani namna hiyo. So this was the thought of notable plot, a notable concept. They considered it to be the only mean to keep things in peace among them. Wao walifikiria hivyo walikuwa wamepanga the king, the priest, the princess. Walikuwa wanaona hiyo ndio ni ni dio jambo la maana sana. And that's the only life and they had a lot of peace. So wakati imekuja imeisha na ibebombolewa wakaasa wakawa ashamed. Unafikiri the king angeenda tena kuongea na priest wakiwa wakiwa pale utumwani angeenda kweli wangekaa tena wafanye shauri wote walikuwa wanaangaliana namna gani na jichomba jichombaya the priest was ashamed manake hata yeye ile alikuwa anafikiria ati ndio jia binguni ameona hapo yaani ameona kabisa haikuwa njia sasa hata the king akiwa amekaa pale alikuwa anauliza sasa huyu priest bona hakuniambia haya the, the king ambaye naye alikuwa na protect the priest walikuwa wanaona kama ndio Mungu na yako wapi ako pale nani angesaidia mwingine so that's why they were ashamed so therefore let us take such a course that people shall have a place to worship in and form a yani to worship by sisi naye ambaye ni watoto wa Mungu. Tuwe kabisa tunasimama na tutafute njia kuabudu Mungu vile inatakikana. Lakini ni in order tuzikuje kuwa ashamed kama vile hawa walikuwa ashamed. Sasa sawa? So men own counsel bring them shame. Men's own counsel bring them yani bring shame to them especially in the region men naturally are very blind in the things of god they do not see far in them their hearts are full of corruptions which strongly bias them watu ambaye kabisa kabisa eh wako katika false religion they are full of corruption and they cannot see far Manake hata hili neno ambayo wanasema wanalijua hawafanyi nini? Hawalijui. Hata hawaoni. Hata wakati wanadanganywa hawawezi kujua ama kuona. Wanadanganywa tu. Mtu anakuja kuogea mambo yake pale. Anaogea mambo ya juju, unakuta watu eh, hawezi ona. Nini inafanya watu wakatae kuona? Ni kwa sababu by nature men are full of Uh, self love anything that is man's own is much regarded 
a great deal more than true that is another that is another another's man another man's yani sevla kujipenda kujipenda hiyo ndio inafanya watu wasisikie ukweli kujipenda ni kwa ni kusema ile ka ukweli kidogo wako naye so long as it is serving his purpose so long as hiyo ukweli ambaye kidogo wako naye hata kana kwamba ni ujinga na inafanya yeye kama ni mali ni, 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 ni utajiri wa hii dunia anapata hawezi kuzikia ukweli mwingine hata ukija namna gani hawezi hawezi manake binadamu by nature anachotwa na mwili mambo ya mwili inakuwa ndiyo ya maana sana kuliko the truth of god so hata ukimkuta pahali panaambiwa uongo kabisa lakini anaambiwa naona ukibarikiwa na through providence of god sio kwa sababu huyo pastor through providence of god aenda atajirike sasa huyo mtu atakufia pale akisema huyu pastor aliniombea nikafanya nini nikapata mali ya dunia little does he know hata wale ambaye hawaabudu Mungu wanaabudu ngombe ni matajiri kuliko nani kuliko wenye wanaenda wapi kwa kani kwa kanisa wale wanaabudu idols saa hii they are richer than wale wanaenda kwa kanisa kweli for example wacha tuende China ama Japan wanaabudu nini idols Sometimes wengi well, majority tukisema hivyo tunasema they are heathen they don't even know about Christ Lakini saa hii nani anaenda na gari mzuri sana yeah. Sisi hata tukitaka gari tunanua second hand ambayo wameitumia wa, wa Why Ukiuliza Mkristo ama huyo pastor anakuambia naona ukienda na gari mpya umuulize mbona mjapani mu, mu, anaenda na mzuri hata kuniliko yeye ni taithi alitoa Alitoa tai. Kuna hofu alijaritoa kwa kanisa. Bwana yeye anaenda na ile mzuri sana. Sasa ndio ukuje wewe uniambie mimi nikitoa kwa kanisa unaona mimi nikibarikiwa. Kwani hiyo unataka in fact that is, that is even degrading our God ambaye si tunajua tunasema tunamjua. Kwa sababu even I do God atabariki mu China ama mu yani mu Japan aende na ile gari nzuri sana wacha hata ile gari nzuri hata wacha hata hiyo hata akanampatia akili ya kufanya nini ya kuitengeneza yeye mwenyewe anajitengenezea aende naye na yeye anaabudu enaidu na wewe kwa kanisa hata urali ukisema ati do fasting ukiambiwa toa ndio barikiwe and yet the farthest you can go ni upate second hand ili ametumia hata kana kwamba utapata hiyo mpya ni sawa lakini yule ameabudu nani So watu lazima waelewe that hii mali ya dunia hakuna pali na kujia na baraka za Mungu. Wale wanaabudu sanamu anawapatia. Wale wanaabudu ngombe anawapatia hata kuliko wenye kwa kanisa. Kwa hivyo watu watafute njia ya Mungu ni gani? People should understand the way of God. Wasikuje wakachotwa na uongo na, ma, na, na priest wa uongo ambaye wanasema ati wewe ukitoa ndio utabarikiwa hiyo yote ni uongo ujue wenye hata watoi unabarikiwa kuliko wewe kwa hivyo taka kujua basi then huyu Mungu wako ambaye anashindwa na Mungu na Mungu yule ambaye ni sanamu yule ambaye ni wasanamu anapatia wale wanamwabudu wana wanawapatia wana mali ya dunia na wewe ambaye unasema unaabidi Mungu wa kweli anakupatia hata ile vitu wale wametumia hivyo ni kumaanisha kama hiyo ni ukweli ni Mungu gani yako na nguvu? Eh? Ni Mungu gani basi kati hao ako na nguvu sana na ako na baraka nyingi? Ukiangalia kibinadamu hmm. ni Mungu wa dunia. Nisa, aa, sikia nimesema huyu wa Japan wanaomba anawapatia vitu ya juu sana hata magari yote ya pesa mingi sana ndio anatembea naye. Si ni kweli? <coughs> Na sisi ambaye tunaabudu Mungu wa kweli hatupati. hatupati zile wanapata. So tukiangalia hapo in that sense tunaweza kusema ni Mungu gani yako na nguvu na ni gani yako na baraka nyingi? Ndiyo nimesema tukiangalia tusipoangalia kindani mm. tunasema Mungu wa Japani mm. yako sawa. 
Ako na hizi ndio? Ndio ako na nguvu. Ndio ako na nguvu. Kwa hiyo ana nguvu. Lakini hiyo ni kiko. Haya, na huyu wetu hata ni mbaya sana maraka yeye, anataka hata ile kidogo ufanye nini? Umpatie. Ndio afanye nini? Akupatie. Lakini yule hata yeye hataki hiyo taidi mnatoa. Yeye anapatia tu wale. So can you see yani ujinga ule huko unafundishwa hapa duniani na Wakristo? People don't even understand the doctrine of salvation. Wana confuse. In fact they degrade even their God. As if yeye ni Mungu anataka kuhongwa ndio apatie mtu. Na hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Na hiyo ndio imefanya watu wengi wamejaa kwa makanisa wanafuata wanaenda kutoa tithes wanatoa offerings to what? At sasa ndio Mungu. Mungu akuli pesa. Na Mungu hataki pesa. Mungu hataki pesa. Mungu hataki dhuru ya mtu ndio amubariki. Mungu hataki. <laughs> Lakini the false prophet watakudanganya wakwambia hapana paka utoe. Utolee Mungu. Ni Mungu unatolea ama ni yeye? Yeye. Yeah. Yeah. So, he self love ndio inafanya watu kujipenda. Kama huyu 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 priest ambaye alikuwa na advice advice Jeroboam. Kama isipokuwa alijipenda sana. Wakati Amos anakuja kumwambia ukweli, angeambia Jeroboam namna gani? Ukweli. Huyu mtu anaongea nini? Ukweli. Ukweli. Akimwambia, amwambie huyu mtu hebu tumsikize. Lakini yeye kwa sababu hangetaka Jeroboam azikia hata vile anasema ni kwa sababu yeye huyu huyu Jeroboam alikuwa anawapatia pesa Sasa yeye anamwambia wewe hata hapo usiru, usirudi hiyo maneno usilete hapa hangetaka hata Jeroboam azikia sasa yeye anajifanya hata Jeroboam hayestaka kusikia hilo anasema So there is in men men's heart much violence to maintain their own counsel and therefore it is very like that their counsel will bring them to shame you see now there is much heart yeah, and there is in men's heart much violence to maintain their own counsel binadamu wakati yako na counsel yako wakati ameshika jia ndio hii kumtoa pale kumtoa pale inakuwa ni ngumu sana. Na yeye haamini ati hiyo jia amefuata ni mbaya. There is nothing that men can bear to be con- contradicted in less than in their own counsel. Wakisha sema hii ndio ukweli, binadamu he doesn't want anybody to contradict him. Kama ungeambia watu ambaye hawa unaona huyu amazia hata wakati Amos he sent by God amwambie hii jia sio mzuri hawezi kubali anakuwa ata hostile paka anafukuza yeye we have seen that thing even in reformation wakati watu walianza kufundisha reformation wale walikuwa wameshika ambaye ni catholic church during the dark ages wakati waliona hawa watu watu wanasikiza sana and they, they had the truth they started persecution wakaza kuwa hawa they don't want to hear the truth hataki kusikia ukweli that's the nature ya binadamu na ndio naona huyu akifukuza Amos hiyo ukweli nawafundisha hapa msifikirie ati ni kweli itakubalika na watu na hapa pasta wako kwa makanisa hawatakubali they won't like it na kama wata, wa, wa, yani na kama wataikubali hata mafarisayo wale ambao walimkataa Yesu Kristo wagekubali Kristo kama hataikubali na hawezi na sio kupenda kwao sometimes we pity them yani unasikia huu mama yake hawawezi sio kupenda kwao ni kwa sababu gani it is because their heart is inclined unto this world na wajui kabisa kabisa ati mioyo yao na tamaa zao ziko katika hii dunia hata kana kombo anaongea juu ya, ya heaven it is a heaven they would not want to any if it can is a heaven ambayo hawagetaka ifike let me tell you ni kuongea tu na mdomo wao all their life na mambo ile wanataka is the comfort of this world is the comfort of this world 
Na ndio naona nimewaambia wafarisayo wangetaka hizo yani Yesu Kristo ahubirie watu wasikie ukweli. They feared wakasema watu wakizikia huyu mtu watatua watatua watatuacha. What were they fearing? They were fearing ile pesa walikuwa napata katika synagogue zile walikuwa wameweka. Hiyo ndio ilikuwa nawasumbua. So they were looking in terms of money walikuwa naangalia pesa. That's why nimekwambia hakuna saa hii unless by grace of God mtu ambaye amefungua kanisa yake na, na, na napata mamilioni ya pesa anaweza kubali ukweli wengine yote. Money is stronger. Pesa hiwezi hawezi hata ukiata na ukweli gani afadhali ukufe lakini sio sio muambia ati ati yako njia mbaya. Hii mambo ya mwili msiona kama ni mchezo is a captivity ambaye kujitoa pale sio rahisi especially wakati umefungua njia ya kutajirika hapa duniani na mwaipata ndio hii mtu mwingine akuje akwambie hapana hawezi kubali wale ambaye watasikia hii ukweli ni wale tu watoto wa Mungu na ndio naona ukienda katika revelation hii inasema come out of her my people haambi watu atimkae pale hapana kama umesikia ukweli wa Mungu toka bali huko ufundishiwe nje lakini sio hapo kwa kanisa ukae pale ufikiria huyo pasta utamwambia ati wewe oh, unajua mimi nimeona ati wewe oh, ukweli hakuna wewe ukicheza utangolewa kama meno kwa hiyo kanisa huwezi ka there is nothing that men can bear to be contradicted in less than in their cousin and the more men are set upon their own cousin the more likely are they to bring them shame in the conclusion you see now the more men are set unto their own cause even dio dio binadamu hajui kama nyinyi Mungu atawaachilia muende na mafikira yenu hiyo ya mafikira yenu will bring you to shame to shame manake it is not the way that's not the way of life that's not the way of eternal life kwa hivyo eventually you will be ashamed So a judgment from God comes upon men's spirit if they will follow out their own course. Kama watu wanafuata njia zao, there is always a judgment of God ambaye itakuja kwa ajili yao. So I would like us to read Psalms 81:11 and 12. Hebu soma. Nasema. Lakini watu wangu hawakuisikiliza sauti yangu wala Israeli hawaku ni wa, sore wala israeli hawaku nitaka unasikia my people would not hearken to my voice and israel would none of me nikusema watu ambaye walikuwa ni watoto wa mungu ilikuwa ni kanisa la mungu lakini mungu anasema my people would not hearken unto my voice 12 mm-hmm. Nikawaacha wakaenda kwa ukaidi wa mioyo yao waenende katika mashauri yao. Yeah. So I gave them up unto their own own hearts lust and they walked in their own counsel. Kwa hivyo wakati Mungu amechoka na watu wakati nyinyi watu wamekuwa kabisa incorrigible Mungu waga na wacha watu wanaenda kulingana nini na tamaa za na inasemekana hakuna judgment mbaya kwa Mungu yani kwa kwa, kwa, yani kwa binadamu kama wakati Mungu amekuachilia amewaachilia mwenende kulingana nini na tamaa za tamaa zenu that is a judgment na ni mbaya sana ni kwa sababu ni kusema Mungu amekuweka pahali sasa wewe unaenda yani wewe kabisa by your own power you will not come back hautarudi tena kwa njia ni kusema amekuachilia si wewe unataka kufungua kanisa eh si ni pesa unataka sasa hiyo tamaa yako ya pesa anakuachilia ikutawa ikutawale so you will get money you will get rich but you are going nowhere manake money hata ukiwa na ngapi it is you useless At the end of the day wakati utakuwa unatoka katika huu mwili you will be ashamed ashamed of your own cause. And that's why hapa anasema yani my people would not hear to my voice. 
And because of that, I gave them up unto their own hearts last. Kwa hivyo wakati wewe unakaa hapa duniani Unakuta wewe unaenda unasikia ati mimi nikitaka hii tama yangu ya mwili ati hiyo ndio unapata. Ukitaka kupata hii una, tunakuta tamaa za mwili ndio unafulfill. Una Sasa unaona Mungu anakupenda maana watu wengi hata kwenda kupeleka kanisani ati, ati thanks offer yani thanks yani giving thanks. Kwa sababu alikuwa anataka hii akapatiwa. Alikuwa anataka hii akapatiwa. Alikuwa anataka hii akapatiwa. Sasa anafikiria Mungu amefanya nini? Amempenda sana. Sasa anaenda yani kupeleka thanks. Kumbe wewe umekuwa saa yote ukiomba Mungu. Unangangana, unaomba uachiliwe tamaa zako za mwili. Unaenda kufast ndio uachiliwe tamaa zako za mwili. Ambaye hii tamaa zako za mwili haujui sasa hizi ni kuanguka unaanguka. Sasa inafika pahali Mungu anasema huyu si anataka hii mali na hii ndio anataka anakuachilia sasa wewe unazivata una, una, una unasipata vile unataka. Una that is Mungu amekuachilia and to your heart's last ni kwa sababu gani hakuna kitu kingine wewe unaweza sikia unaweza cry day and night ukiomba Mungu akupatie mali ya dunia wakati Mungu anasema wale ninaopenda uanga nafanya nini na warudi i punish those na uanga hata na wanyima ndio wanijue lakini wewe badala ya kutaka kunijua wewe unataka nikupatie mali ndio nataka eh, pata mali ipate You see now wakati unapata unafikiri sasa ni baraka but it is a car it is a cars kwa nini it is a cars let us see another verse Psalm 73 17 inasema namna gani Hata nilipo ingia katika patakatifu pa Mungu nika utafakari mwisho wao 18 hakika wewe huwaweka penye utelezi huangusha mpaka palipo haribika yes until i went into the sanctuary of god then understood i their end surely thou didst set them in slippery places thou casted them down into destruction you know this is this is a man ambaye aliona watu wanatajirika hapa duniani akaona wao ni kunona wananona you see now na akalia ukisoma ukisoma ukirudi nyuma kidogo anasema namna gani seven anasema nini anasema nini hebu asia saba inasema nini saba inasema no asia tatu maana maana naliwaonea wivu wenye kujivuna nilipo iona hali ya amani ya wasio haki maana hawana maumivu katika kufa kwao na mwili wao una nguvu unasikia hapo yani yeye for i was envious at the foolish ni watu ambao hawamjui Mungu eh, why when i saw the prosperity of the wicked mimi nikiangalia ninaona wanatajiri wanatajirika na wanafurahi sana tano nasema namna gani katika taabu ya watu hawamo ehe wala hawapati mapigo pamoja na wanadamu unasikia katika taabu ya watu hawa hawamo nikusema ile mapigo wengine wanapata hata, hata wanakosa pesa akaona hawa kuna wale ambaye kazi yao ni kufanya nini ni kutajirika ni kupata wanapata hata wa, they don't even struggle mpesa tu zinakuja tu yani yeye anakaa chini tu sasa huyu akiangalia akaona katika tabu za binadamu ambaye wanapitia hawa hawamo sasa sawa saba inasema namna gani macho macho yao huto ah yes. sita sita hivyo kiburi kimekuwa mfu shingoni mwao jehuri huavika kama nguo unasikia yani pride kwao inakuwa kama chain You see it encompasses them about as a chain. Yaani mpaka wako na pesa mpaka kiburi iko inawasukua kama nini? Kwa sababu hakuna kitu wanakosa. Eight, Seven. Yeah, seven. Macho yao hutokeza kwa kunenepa. Wameipita kadri ya mawazo ya mioyo yao. Sikia, their eyes stand out with fatness. They have more than heart could wish. 
You see, they have more than heart could we could wish. Wewe saa zingine ukiwa Mkristo unatafuta tu chakula ya kula siku moja. Unaenda kufanya kazi angaa upate unasema mimi nitapata mia mbili. Nikipata mia mbili nitapata pesa ya, ya unga na whatever. Na kesho tena niamke nyenye nitafute. Hawa huyu aliona hata shida hawana. They have more than their heart could wish. Ni kusema hata kana kwamba anatumia elfu moja. Ile pesa iko, iko kwa bank. Hana haja naye. Ni mingi sana. They are very rich ni watu. Sasa yeye akashindwa sasa. Hii mambo yote inakuwa namna hii kwa sababu gani? Ukisoma nani nasema nini? Hudi haki usimulia mabaya, usimulia udharimu kana kwamba wako juu. They are corrupt and speak wickedly concerning oppression. They speak loftily. You see now? They are corrupt. Ni kusema watu wako na pesa ambaye anajua hata ukimfanyia makosa anaweza kusikizia we ufungwe. Ye afanye nini? Aachiliwe. Aachiliwe. Ni watu wako na mali hapa duniani. Sasa uki, ukisoma kumi inasema nini? Kwa hiyo watu wake hugeuka huko na maji yaliyojaa umezwa nao. 11 Nao usema Mungu ajiwaje. Yako maarifa kwake aliye juu. You see, wanafanya mambo mpaka sasa kwao wa kwao Mungu hayuko. Maana yake atauliza Mungu atajiwaje? Sasa yeye Mungu ni nani? They have money. Hawana shida. So, twaelewa nasema nini? Fahamu, ndivyo walivyo wasio haki na kwa kustarehe siku zote wamepata mali nyingi. You see, behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. Sasa sikia vile yeye sasa atashangaa 13. Hakika nimesta, hakika nimejisafisha moyo wangu bure. Nimenawa mikono yangu kwa kutokukosa. For 14 Maana mchana kutwa nimepigwa na kuadhibiwa kila asubuhi. You see now here, sasa yeye anasema very I have cleansed my heart in vain. Kusema nimeenda kanisa, mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu. Naenda kanisa na, 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 na jaribu kabisa kufanya vile Mungu anataka. Lakini mimi nikiwa nafanya hivyo, mimi ndiyo nafanya nini? Napigwa na asubuhi na jioni, siwezi pata hata pesa. Niko na shida. Mimi ndiyo niko na shida kuliko wote. Lakini ukinikuta mimi ndiyo kabisa na nyenyekea mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu. In fact, this man akaona kabisa akashindwa. What is true to be a Christian? A true Christian. Kama mimi ndiyo najaribu kufanya vile nataka na yani na, na siwezi pata. Na wale ambaye hawamjui ungodly, corrupt people. Hata wananona mpaka macho inafanya nini? Inatokezea nje kwa kunona. Na mimi ambaye kabisa namtafuta Mungu hakuna kitu. So yeye kama hangefundishwa hangejua ukweli. Na ndio nasema 15. Kama ni sing, kama ni kama ningalisema nitasimulia kama hayo kumbe ningaliwadanganya kisasi cha wana wako. Nasikia. Sasa nasema kama kabisa ningeongea bila kunifundi bila kujua ningewadanganya watoto wa Mungu. Na ningewasumilia vibaya niseme hata Mungu atupe hatupendi kwa sababu wale ambao haumjui ndio wanapatia lakini kwa sababu gani anasema hivyo ukisoma 17 sasa hapo ndio atakwambia pale tulikuwa anasema namna gani mhm nami nami nalifikiri jinsi ya kufahamu hayo ikawa taabu machoni pangu mm-hmm. hata nilipoingia katika patakatifu pa Mungu nikautafakari mwisho wao Hakika wewe huwaweka penye utelezi huangusha mpaka palipoharibika. Wakati alisoma neno na Mungu akajua kumbe hii uta, utajiri wakati wewe unalilia mali unapatiwa and you thank God you should think twice. Manake huyu alikuja kuona kumbe hii mali ambayo watu wana, wanaona kana kwamba ni baraka Mungu wapatia kwa sababu umeitisha na naona kabisa haja yako ni mali 
ndio wede pale pateresi Surely thou did set them in a slippery places slippery ni mali ya dunia ndio uko naye hata macho yametoka nje na unaona umetajirika hata unaenda ku give thanks vile Mungu amekubariki lakini ujue katika ufalme wa Mungu umewekwa in a slippery places ni kusema thou cast them down into destruction wanakojea tu nini destruction ni kusema ameweka pali patelezi ndio wa wa waeleke wapi destruction kwa hivyo ni kusema hapo patelezi ni kusema wakishashika hiyo njia hawezi fanya nini hawezi hawezi rudi marake watatereza mpaka destruction na ukitaka kujua ni wakati huko hapa Nairobi watu hawezi kujua lakini ushago ukienda utakuta wale wanajua ushago kuna pali hivi jana utengereza nini wakati mvua imenyesha wanapeleka kwa mnini wanaendanga wana, wana sijui tunaweza kuitaji na Kiswahili hiyo utaona wanaenda akisha piga hiyo nini ataenda kulikana na hiyo hiyo matope vile inaenda mpaka amalize hiyo hiyo nini so wale nayo wanawekwa hivyo ndio waanguke so utajiri wa hapa duniani sio vile watu wanafikiria in fact ukielewa vizuri sana niwaambie Mungu na ndio naona Mungu mtoto wa, wa, wa Mungu uomba Mungu unipatia nini ya kuto ya kunitosha lakini ni, ni, nisikose lakini ikiwa wakati wewe unaomba nataka nimeona watu wengine wamebarikiwa unaanza kutamani wewe tamani tu omba Mungu tu akupatie if he is going to give you your heart last akubalie upate ujue umewekwa pale patelezi na kabisa katika ufalme wa Mungu hautarudi utaanguka na utaenda manake mtu akipata mali isipokuwa aende adanganya kanisani na tithe za uongo ambaye unaenda kuri yani kuriward the same people ambaye wanaongea juu ya prosperity ndio unaenda kuriward sio kama unaona pale wale watu ambaye wanakuombea wana upate prosperity wakati umepata prosperity nani unaenda kuriward ni wa ni wao unawari unawari kwa sababu gani wamekuombea ukapata nini your heart last tamaa za mwili za mwili umezipata ndio lakini ujue umewekwa pale patere pateresi hauta hautapata ufalme wa mbinguni itakuwa ngumu sana manake hata ukweli kija ile inakaa kama mafuta hautaikubali manake yule ambaye alikuombea ukapata ukifikiria alikuombea upate kile kitu kizuri yeye hata yako pale pateresi na wewe umeingia pale pateresi na umekuwa kitu kimoja sasawa So men's own counsel bring them to shame. Often time they come to nothing after they have made a great deal of stuff so that they are in they are vain to sit down and there is a need of all their labor. You see now. Kwa hivyo they are they are vain to sit down and there is a need of their labor. Perhaps they have labored to advance their counsel by much evil much sin much heart burning and when it comes to all there it lies there is a need of it thus they are ashamed of their concern ebuso ba job 28 sasa nasema njia ile hapana ndege mkali aijuae wala jicho la tai alija iona job 187 sorry job 187 job 187 inasema eh hatua zake hatua zake za nguvu zitasongwa na shauli lake mwenyewe litamwangusha chini so his own counsel shall cast him down binadamu akiwa ni shauli lake anafuata na kuabudu Mungu it will cast him down So ukisoma uh, the same Psalms 9:16 Psalms 9:16 Inasema Bwana amejidhihirisha na kutekeleza hukumu amemnasa mdarimu kwa kazi ya mikono yake Yeah amemnasa mdarimu kwa kazi ya mikono ya yake the, wick, the wicked is snared in the work of his own hands 
Yani wewe yale unataka sana. Your own hand. Tamaa zako. Hiyo ndiyo unashikwa naye. Si unataka mali ya dunia. Si haja yako ni, ni utajirike. Hiyo hiyo ndiyo utashikwa naye. Na Mungu amekuweka pale patri. Hiyo ndiyo nataka. Kwa hivyo lazima tuelewe. These people they were ashamed because of their own cause. Yale ambaye wenyewe walibuni the false worship ile waliweka the king the princess the priest hiyo ndio iliwa nasa na at the end of the day wakawa very ashamed when they were in Assyria kwa sababu waliona yale yote walifanya ilikuwa ni ya kuwapoteza sasa so as christian tunaambiwa look up first to jesus christ that great counselor he is called Isaiah 9:6 Soma Isaiah 9 Maana kwa ajili yetu Maana kwa ajili yetu mtoto amezaliwa tumepewa mtoto mwanamume na uwezo wa kifalme utakuwa begani mwake naye ataitwa jina lake mshauri wa ajabu Mungu mwenye nguvu baba wa milele mfalme wa amani that is Christ Jesus our Lord. He's a wonderful counselor. Counsel. That is our Lord. Kwa if we want to succeed as children of God, we shall not take our own counsel. We shall we must have we must adhere and learn to know the spirit of Christ. Not only the letter, but the spirit of that letter. Because Christ is not the letter. He is the spirit of the word. Kwa hivyo kuna wale ambaye wanasoma the letter of the word na that's why they get a wrong counsel wakitumia the letter but they don't understand the spirit of the letter. Sasa sawa? Ningetaka tusome Proverb 8:14. Proverb 8:14 nasema mnaga nisoma. Inasema Shauli ni langu na maarifa yaliyo sahihi. Mimi ni ufahamu, mimi nina nguvu. That is still is Christ talking. Kosel is mine. He has understanding na uh, he has all the knowledge. Kwa hivyo we should not look to our own kosel. Let us learn the truth. Let us know uh, Christ as our Lord and at the same time as our savior. Let us follow his counsel. When we say we should we should take and Christ as our Lord ni kumaanisha lazima tutii yale yote amesema but when we say Christ is our lord and yet we are doing the opposite sisi kabisa kabisa we don't take him as our wisdom we take our own counsel only we use the name of Christ let us pray much that God would be with our counselors that there may be none among them like those spoken of in yani in Ezekiel 11:2 Hebu soma Ezekiel 11:2 Inasema namna gani? Ezekiel 11:2 Wapo? Hebu soma. Inasema Akaniambia mwanadamu hawa ndio watu wale watuungao uovu na kutoa mashauri mabaya ndani ya mji huo. Mm -hmm. These are the men that devise mischief and give wicked counsel in the city and that likewise the lord would say counsel and that men would yield to that which is the safest and the best counsel to that which is the best in the eyes of god in order to understand you read 11:1 and what does it say tena roho ikani inua ikanileta hata lango la upande wa mashariki wa nyumba ya Bwana lililo elekea upande wa mashariki na tazama mahali pa kuingilia palango walikuwako watu ishirini na watano na kati, katikati yao nikamuona ya zania mwana wa azuri na pelatia mwana wa benaya nao ni wakuu wa watu hiyo ni kanisa 
hiyo ni wale walikuwa wote ni, waongo, ni, ni viongozi wa kani wa kanisa la Israeli na hapo ninasikia these are the men that devise mischief you can yani unaweza yani sikia namna gani sijui kama mnaisikia that hawa ah, watu ni watu wa kanisa lakini Mungu anasema namna gani these are the men that devise me mischief and yet walikuwa ni watu wa kanisa because kwa nini wana devise mischief ni kwa sababu walikuwa wamewacha njia za Mungu walikuwa wanaenda through their own concern walikuwa nafuata tamaa zao na walikuwa wamebuni njia zao za kuabudu sio zile za Mungu ukisoma is uh, Psalms 73:24 inasema namna gani hebu soma utaniongoza kwa shauli lako na baadaye utanikaribisha kwa utukufu yeah that's a child of god guide me with thy counsel and afterward receive me to glory mwana wa Mungu anaomba Mungu am guide in whole in his own co- counsel so let the fear of god be strong in your heart when you come to ask counsel be sincere the fear of god even you nakuongoza when you come to ask for counsel see at wewe unauliza counsel and yet you, you don't fear god all these false preachers they don't fear god kama wangekuwa wang, 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 na mungu na hawangefundisha mambo ya prosperity they don't fear ni kudanganya wanadanganya watu ukisoma Ezra 10:3 nasoma namna gani Ezra 10:3 basi na tufanye agano na Mungu wetu kuachana na wake zetu na wale waliozaliwa nao tukiri fuata shauli la Bwana wangu na shauli la hao wanaoite temekea amri ya Mungu wetu mambo haya na yatendeke kwa kuifuata toradhi that is it come let us go let us go to do according to the counsel of my lord and of those that tremble at the commandment of our god kwa hivyo watoto wa Mungu come let us go to, to do according to the counsel of my lord na kwa wale utetemeka kwa sababu ya neno na nani na Mungu hao ndio watu ambaye watoto wa Mungu watakiwa kusikiza lakini sio wale ambaye they don't care they don't fear god you know it may be there are some with a greater depth of understanding yeah but have they the fear of god in them is there hope that they are guided by the lord let us take heed to do according to the counsel of those that tremble at the commandment of our god kwa hivyo sio tusikize walimu wowote ni tusikize wale ambaye kweli wanaogopa hata wao wanaogopa Mungu. So be sure to look at the word especially in matter of religion. And think not thus uh, in reason and prudence such a way were better and and more conducive to peace. Utunguze neno la Mungu. Speak yani seek the truth. Lakini usiseme in your own reason at hii ndio njia. Wale walitumia their own counsel but at the end they were ashamed. Kwa hivyo na sisi take heed of being put off with any fair shows when the Lord is living in it. Yet he will suffer those that give evil counsel to mix a great many good things with that which is evil. Kwa hivyo take heed of being put off with any fair show. Unajua you can be put off with any fair show. Unaona kana kwamba Mungu anakupenda. Katika this world there is a mix of good and, and evil. Unaweza kuwa saa zingine una mambo mazuri unafikiri sasa wewe uko sawa. No, take heed. Ni kwa sababu unaweza kuwa unataka baraka za mwili unasahau hata hizo za mwili they are not blessing they are evil. Take heed. Kwa sababu usipofanya hivyo uta yani eh, utajumisa. So God has promised to direct the humble therefore come with humility in your counsel and be sure in what is if the right to, to follow and then you may you may with a more confidence expect god to help you in other things yani go has god has promised to direct the humble therefore come with humility in your counsel unyenyekee 
and be sure in what is evidently right to follow be sure usifuate watu tu kwa sababu mtu amekuja pale ameshika biblia na anasema yeye ni pastor hapana jua huyu mtu kabisa ako sawa anafundisha neno na Mungu vile linatakikana hiyo ndiyo itatusaidia sawa sawa amen